OK, in this step, now that I have my um, project already initiated, I want to go ahead and orient my WCS. And this is important because it's going to set up my ejector positioning. So moving into the main area, I'm going to go ahead and select Mold Ceases. So that's the WCS positioning. So currently it did move it to the center, but in some cases it'll be off center. So I'm going to double click my WCS and move it out of space so that it's, it's not in the position that I would expect. So you can drag it by the arrow tips. You can drag it by the angle wheel, just grabbing the sphere, holding your mouse button one down, same for the arrow tips. I'm going to double click my uh, vector, my WCS origin handle. So just double clicking that guy. I'm going to place it down on the edge of my part here. And I'm going to go ahead and change the angle. Once I have that done, I'll hit my center mouse button to accept my position. And I want it to be the center, so I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. And my WCS is now in the center of that uh, solid. And I have a, a box set up for my next step. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And I'm going to slide over to create my workpiece. So this is going to give me the, the outside uh, shape of my cavity and core. And I'm just going to hit F8 to short up so I can take a look at how that's going to look. It looks fine that direction, and it looks fine that direction. I could also go ahead and drag this if I needed to to make it a little bit larger or smaller. But I'm just going to leave it as 56 for now. And all this looks good. And I'm going to go ahead and hit OK to keep that. So if that looks good that way, I'm set and ready to go on the next one. So my next step is to slide over to my cavity layout. And I'm going to go ahead and hit OK there. So currently, it's set to uh, two count for my cavity and core. If I needed you know, another one in there, I'm going to go ahead and do um, specify my vector. I'm going to click that arrow tip so that it pushes it over. And I'm going to go ahead and start my layout, just moving down the dialog box. So I placed it there. But then to uh, go ahead and add more stuff to this, I need to reposition my WCS again. So I'm going to auto center that. So it's my parts are set up. To the WCS and once I'm done go ahead and hit close so now I'm ready for the next step which is to check my regions so sliding over to my uh, parting tools here's check region and to calculate that information I'll slide this over so you can see it here's my body there's my draw direction. You can see the arrow tip pointing up. Go ahead and calculate. Once it's finished, it's very uh, instantaneous. It did go through that very fast. Uh, I can go over to face and take a look at some of the information there. My draft angle is set to three. And for example, I'll switch it to one. And you can see the count underneath here all change. So hitting one, hit enter. And then if I just need to do some interrogation of the uh, greater than one degree, I can go ahead and select the positive. Go ahead and trans uh, make the other faces translucent. So I'll go ahead and drag those so I can see the, what's happening in those faces. I'll move back to three, hit enter. And it's just investigating it just to see if I need to make any more modifications before I move forward. So I'll slide over to the region tab. And this is my cavity and core setup. So cavity is going to be this color. My core is going to be in blue. If I don't like those colors, I would just select the um, color there. And then I can go into this palette and modify it however I wish. But for now, I'm just going to leave that just the way that is. And I'm going to go ahead and set those colors once I'm happy with that. So you can see top is that uh, brown color, and then my core is going to be that blue look. Go ahead and hit OK. 
So now I have that all set and I'm ready to go on to the next step.